Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and we're back with more Nuclear Throne. So last time we played as Rebel and ended up not really utilizing her ally ability very well. So we kind of learned that uh, if you don't use that active ability, Rebel is kind of just a regular old character that shoots a gun. So yeah, don't really like that. So Rebel, you will not be on my short list. Now, someone out there is probably going to say Rebel is great. And I'm sure Rebel is great in the right hands. What I know about myself is that Rebel is not great for my particular playstyle. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, YV. Not sure, girl, boy, but has an awesome hip-hop air horn at the beginning of every level. So I like you whether you are transsexual, unisexual, pansexual, or non-sexual. Um, you are a triangle, so I don't know how breeding with triangles works, but uh, making it rain right there, YV. So let's go ahead and jump in, and uh, we will explore... Uh, an awesome character. Also, this is, I believe, the uh, the logo from Gun Gods, which was a really great uh, old-school FPS that uh, Vlambury made. Love that hip-hop air horn at the beginning of every single level. And also, you notice we have a sweet gold pistol, uh, which doesn't actually do anything, I think, more than just look awesome. So, and, 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 hey, that's okay. That's really okay. Uh, pop is uh, and the ability to kind of shoot uh, two bullets, I think, that spread out. Um, so yeah, that's a good ability. Just uses two ammo, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing wrong with an ability like that. I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily doing much to enhance the character overall. It's not a game-changing ability, but certain, uh, certain things that take two shots, like the sewer rats, uh, become a little bit easier. I think when you have that ability to uh, to pop them with a quick bullet, a double bullet shot. So I didn't quite get that level up, and that was one of those levels I was talking about in the uh, previous episode when I said, you know, sometimes you just don't get enough enemies in the first level to get a level up, and it always kind of sucks. Those guys are all swarming around the weapon that I really want to go pick up. Now let's just pop in their general direction a little bit, just try to cause them some havoc. Uh, working on my dodging, working on my aiming right now, uh, you know, this is the early days. This is the early days. This is about episode three-ish. So, you know, this is the early days of this kind of stuff, so... You know, don't expect uh, an amazing play from me. Sorry, I rushed it there to try and get the uh, to try and get the XP. Shouldn't have done that, obviously. Uh, but just I just saw that XP flashing and fading, and uh, saw myself sad and regretful if I didn't jump over there and grab it. Grenade launcher. Uh, it, it is a pretty good weapon in a controlled environment. It is a really bad weapon in a uh, in an environment that lacks openness. So uh, say the sewers. Maybe not the best item to have in the sewers. Uh, do we like the slugger better? I think we do. So let's go ahead and take the slugger. And uh, yeah, let's uh, allow ourselves to be sucked into the vortex. There we go. Our first chance to pick a mutation. We are going to do... We're going to choose between boiling veins, gamma guts, touching enemies take damage, uh, energy weapons deal more damage. You don't have an energy weapon, and most hit bullets become ammo. Uh, since we do have that pop-pop ability, we're going to waste some ammo. Hmm... Boiling Veins, of course, a home run in, you know, in the scrapyard and beyond, but uh, for now we're going to go with... God, I love that air horn. <laughs> we're going to go with uh, whatever it is we picked out of the one where you puke bullets. I forget the name of it. Oh, 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 did I not get hit there? Oh my goodness. I don't know how that happened exactly. Okay, so let's uh, concentrate here. Using our slugger. We shouldn't be using our slugger so much, but we were. We're going to get a better weapon. Uh, nope, we are not. So, let's see. Can we find some ammo? Uh, oh. mm, not quite so lucky that time. Uh, so, I really want some slugger ammo, but we're a little bit low. I really want to kill him with the slugger, but we're low on ammo, is what I was trying to say. Got to make those shots count. There we go. And we got a few more shells, but let's make sure that we're switching back to our gun because we really, really don't want to uh, waste that slugger ammo if we don't have to. And I don't think there's going to be enough up here to get to a level three, and there is not, or get to the next level. And there isn't. So uh, full health and some ammo. That sounds appealing. Second skin, some more HP from med packs. That also sounds uh, quite appealing. Uh, we do have a slugger, which counts as a shotgun, so shells bounce farther. That's when the shells hit things and ricochet. That's what that means, basically. 
And laser brain, enemy energy damage, uh, energy weapons dealing more damage. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with uh, Last Wish because we are kind of in a dire situation. We do need more ammo. We do need more health. So we're gonna do it. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's concentrate. Let's not act foolish. Let's clear out. Let's make sure that we're getting our ammo. Let's not get hit by rats. We're getting our experience. Let's, let's not get hit by rats. Okay, okay. Okay. Concentrate. I'm just trying to center, center myself here. Just try to... Uh, regular shotgun, definitely no contest there. We're not going to take that over a slugger. Uh, though the regular shotgun has its merits, and it does cover a lot of ground, and I really... Uh, I like the regular shotgun quite a bit, but the slugger is just, it's a home run of a weapon. So I am, ooh, we got a mimic. Hate mimics. It's, you know, I mean, obviously a mimic is an enemy, so no one loves mimics, <laughs> but I feel like the, the mimics as, a, as an idea or a trope just need to go away. I just don't need mimics to exist anymore. So I think we're, we're cool with the sewer there. Nothing really that we're missing. Uh, and I think we're good to go. So we're into the scrapyard. I was about to say we're into the scrapyard, totally in over our head. And just as I'm about to say that, boom, we are dead. All right, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get back into things. We'll play uh, one more game here as a good old YV, and then we'll move over to Robot and see exactly how that works. Air horn. And let's cross our fingers for a good level one that's going to allow us to get a level up. Okay, things looking up here. A nice carcass. Carcass always deals, a, a, always grants quite a bit of experience. Of course, the main key on level one is not to ever miss any XP. If you miss any XP, I mean, you're really just screwed. All right, what do we got going on here? This is it. So I don't think we're quite going to make it. Not quite. All right, well, that's, uh, yeah. That is regrettable. Uh, maybe we'll actually get two level ups here. Oh, goodness. Jesus. Okay, let's just not die um, early here, if we can avoid it. Uh, these cactuses, uh, as you can see, block uh, bullets and things like grenades. So, careful. Yeah, that's... I just... I'm in stunned silence right now because that happens. <laughs> Uh, not only do I feel foolish, but I feel like we were kind of ramping up into a pretty decent run here. Uh, but I can't really say that. We've, we've done one level. So. <laughs> were we ramping up into a decent run? No, I, there's no way to say that one way or the other. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. And there we go. Probably for the best. I think we've sort of seen what this character has to offer. So let's move on to Robot. Do a game or two with Robot. See where we can go. Again, Robot uh, finds better tech, whatever that means, and also eats guns. So we might get a chance to uh, dis uh, display that uh, gun-eating <laughs> capability early on. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what what, uh, what the level's going to hand us. Hmm, just the, the play here is sloppy. Okay, a machine gun. Uh, that's... sure. I do like the machine gun, as I've talked about before. Uh, as a gun. All right. It's a good first level. See? A good first level. It was difficult. I took three damage, but we ended up actually getting a level up, which is just a huge, huge boon for the rest of the game. And this is also, this is just a huge level one, especially by comparison. If you, if you look at the last level one we had, uh, really big level one here. So let's move on. Level two. Get to pick a mutation right off the bat. I really like that. All right. Oh, I like that they call it updates for robot. I like that. I like that. So sharp teeth, eagle eye, better accuracy. God, God knows I need that. Uh, all right, a little more ammo and some health. Uh, that's actually tempting as bad as I'm doing. And a laser brain. I mean, of course, the, the problem with this is it's a one-time benefit. You get it, and it's one for one time it's good, and then that's it. Um, so it's a very bad pickup, I guess, overall. If you really, really need it, it's a good pickup. But overall... I'm sure people who rank these sorts of things rank Last Wish really, really low. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and take accuracy. Sure. All right. So let's uh, again, as I've talked about in many 
any games. Let's concentrate on dodging. Let's concentrate on aiming. Let's concentrate on just playing better. <laughs> because really, that's the whole key here, isn't it? Uh, we do desperately need a second weapon uh, because we have two weapons that use the same ammo type, which is really uh, bad. All right, we get a sledgehammer. Sure. So we will uh, we will eat the pistol. Okay, which gave us six explosives, which is pretty much useless, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so in the previous episode, I think, or a previous episode, we had the shovel, and now we have the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer, I think, a superior melee weapon, so uh, happy to have it. Whoa, really long range on that, and uh, just generally a faster weapon. Um, not as fast as the screwdriver, which is, you know, chee 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 uh, but also the screwdriver, very short-ranged, and meaning that you would have to get very close to some of the scarier enemies that we have here, like this one, for instance. You don't want to get too close to a scorpion, because guess what? Scorpions have scorpion tails, and they, they hit you with the scorpion tail if you get too close. Learn that the hard way. Most people do. A little dodging there. Saying that, like, that's something special that I did, you know, it's the thing I needed to do to survive was dodge. And I did it. Pat on the back. For uh, doing the thing I needed to do, I guess. Alright, let's just, sure, let's just pull, dump, let's just dump ammo at this point. Alright, so we're gonna have some uh, opportunities to eat some guns, so we don't want to go uh, away here before doing that. So, uh, the screwdriver, we're gonna eat it. And we're gonna pick up the sledgehammer, which I like a whole lot. Lots of XP on this level. We have our boss, so we have a lot of XP uh, because of that, but we also just have a lot of XP in general. Laser pistol, absolutely wonderful weapon. It is a... Uh, it's a laser pistol. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. Hmm. So... I, of course, I don't want to leave this level without eating a weapon. I think I'm going to eat the laser pistol. Might regret that later and take the sledgehammer. So, Euphoria, slower enemy bullets. Melee range now. Well, we have the sledgehammer, so that could be really, really good. Uh, enemies touching me take damage and uh, tire. So, th yeah, we're going to take longer arms because, uh, yeah, you can hit stuff through walls <laughs> with longer arms. So, I'm kind of going to do that. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to stand right here and uh, hit something through a wall. In fact, I can hit that all the way over there. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit cheap. I'm not going to uh, not gonna lie to you about that. Uh, but uh, I don't care, I think, is the appropriate answer there. Uh, I want to live. I want to win the game. Uh, you know, everything short of cheating. Uh, because, you know, we accomplish our goal when we cheat, but we don't feel that accomplished, right? Right? No? Yeah. Just... Cheaters prosper in this world, it's sad to say. What do we have up here? Uh, Submachine gun, definitely not going to take that, so let's go ahead and pick it up and eat it. I always move down like that out of habit to make sure that I'm, you know, not holding the weapon. Or, I don't know, it's, I've, I've eaten guns unintentionally before, so uh, we've, kind of, uh, we've kind of tethered ourselves to the sledgehammer at this point because we spent a whole mutation or a whole update on improving it. So we are kind of stuck uh, with this for a while, which is not not to say stuck with it as a bad thing, because it's pretty pretty good. Oh, there you go, trying to sneak up on me. Get a hammer to your face for that. Uh, we are getting pretty low on enemies here. Got to be nearing the end. That seems like that's probably our last enemy. And we've already found our weapon and I think everything else in this level, so yeah, we can just go ahead and slaughter that last rat and move on right through the wall move on with our lives, move on to the scrapyard. One of the better runs that we've had here, uh, but I wouldn't want to jinx it. Uh, we don't have that laser pistol anymore. Uh, higher ammo max, it sounds good in theory. And we don't have a shotgun. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I don't plan to get hit, but that could be a nice board clear if something goes really, really wrong. So let's hit some people through walls, and let's try to get through the scrapyard. Oh, these salamanders. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go ranged on them. A 
let's not die. Let's just, let's, I mean, you know, we, we're gonna die, but let's not die right away. Let's not die because our approach was stupid. Let's die because I can't dodge or something like that, you know? Ah, uh, the assault rifle, which we will most definitely eat. And it gave us HP. I did not even know it could do that. That is amazing. Thank you. That is the most use I've got out of an assault rifle. Ever. Alright, so just some careful dodging. <laughs> Don't get hit by stationary fire shooters. You know, that is a... That is a big one. Don't get hit by unavoidable damage. I mean, that uh, by avoidable damage. Get hit by unavoidable damage, because, you know, it's unavoidable. Oh no, that was a... That was a tunnel of death right there that I backed myself into. All right, let's do one more as robot, then we're gonna call it a day. Robot, let's go. Let's eat some guns, let's kill some slugs. Or whatever these things are. Graboids, no. And an assault rifle. This game just keeps giving me assault rifles. I will look forward to the opportunity to eat this. Wasting my precious ammo. Alright, a submachine gun. Is it any better? God, probably not. Um... But, you know, out of principle, I'm going to eat the, uh, I'm going to eat the, the, uh, assault rifle. I'm sure there are people out there that love the assault rifle and use it effectively, uh, but I, I'm not one of those people. So. Whew. Not sure how I did, how I managed to not get hit there, but I'm happy that I, uh, made it out alive. I don't think you get anything for killing these skulls. Sometime I'm gonna invest some time in actually doing that and see. Oh yes, got a level up on uh, level one. Gotta love it. Uh, some kills regenerate ammo, higher fire rate. Eventually we'll be able to recognize these by, by uh, just looking at them, but uh, slower enemy bullets, stronger attract power. Uh, I like the ability to regenerate ammo, but uh, that's, I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna take lucky shot. Ammo is not often a worry in this game, but it does come up from time to time. Usually you're getting enough uh, consistent upgrades and new weapons that uh, ammo doesn't really become a big deal, but you really never know. And it is nice to have a built-in way to just constantly increase your ammunition supply. Let's explore up here a bit before we uh, go down there into that scorpion death trap. All right. Oop. Okay. All right, so let's breach this area, and I'm talking like all tactical. <laughs> let's breach this area. Let's do some uh, fake sounding multiplayer chatter. All right, we got uh, one up ahead. Uh, I need you to flank him. Steve, I need you to flank him. Uh, remember that game we played yesterday? Yeah, do that. Okay, I need you to come around from the side and shoot him in the face with a shotgun. There we go. All right, moving on, moving on. Just trying to keep my head down, dodge bullets, uh, hit when I shoot, <laughs> and just generally not be really bad at this game. Okay, let's clear out here. Missing a lot of XP which is a really big deal. Um, really big deal. Okay. Let's hide over here. Okay. A little bit of XP, a little bit of HP. We got a machine gun. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that over the pistol, sure. And now let's finish off the bandits. I love that musical flourish when you kill him. <laughs> that just lets my heart rate immediately uh, stabilize, drop down to a normal rhythm. I think we've got at least one scorpion down here. Yeah, we do. All right.
<sighs> okay, and let's finish it up. And we're off to the sewers. All right, so feeling okay about this game. Uh, made some mistakes, but uh, six out of eight life and pretty good ammo on all my weapons at the sewer makes me feel okay. Slower enemy bullets, stronger track powder, power, better accuracy, higher ammo max. Uh, I'm going to take stronger track power because I am missing a fair amount of XP, and we don't want to do that. Do not want to miss, miss XP at all. This is a shotgun kind of kind of area here. <laughs> there we go. Nice tight corridors, shells bouncing around everywhere. This is definitely a shotgun sort of area. I like it a lot. Grab some shells, more shotgunning, and that stronger attract power is really nice. I mean, it's pulling stuff in from halfway, well, almost completely across the room in some of these cases. Okay, the flamethrower, a very nice novelty, and probably really nice in this in this particular level, but I don't think it's going to do me that well going forward. There's probably someone out there screaming, oh, the flamethrower, it's the rarest and best item in the game, what are you doing, you idiot? But um, I don't think I can use it, so <laughs> even if it is the best item, it's the interesting thing with a game like this, even if something is objectively great, if I can't use it to its fullest potential, then it's just handicapping me. Oh, here we go. That's the guy I was looking for. You're the one I was looking for. Mr. Hack and Slash laying in wait. Lying in wait? Lay laying and lying and lying in wait. My wife would kill me if she heard me misuse that. <laughs> and my wife is a journalist and editor uh, to fill that in if you don't know. Wow, that just happened. That was that was my wife's vengeance right there. <laughs> that was my wife's vengeance. All right, well, I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, that was Robot and uh, YV. And I think a couple of those characters uh, that would stand out on my short list, I liked both of them. Pop, uh, not being that, uh, that great of an ability, but the Robot's ability to sustain himself through long periods by eating guns, uh, keeping his ammo high, really, really nice. And even the ability to regenerate ammo by eating uh, regenerate health by eating uh, guns. Absolutely appealing. So, uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it, guys. Tune in for the next episode. Uh, not sure how long the series is going to go, but I'm feeling good about it now, so I'm just going to keep making Nuclear Throne videos whenever I feel the itch to play a little Nuclear Throne. All right. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.